port side. Again, we have another absolute glorious day. There is zero wind, it's sunny, no clouds in the sky. I'm just gonna make a, a loop recording and repeat this on every video because it's the same weather that we've had pretty much every day, most days over the last four weeks. So we are, it is morning like say, it's a quarter after nine. Just gassed up, pumped out at the uh, Perry Sound Marine, just across from the uh, Big Sound Marina where we stayed last night and now we are off. Now today's challenge, first challenge, hopefully the only challenge is going to be getting under that swing bridge because last swing was at 9 o'clock so we just, just missed it. Um, but we should have the clearance, Clarence, because the charts are showing 18 feet at datum clearance and we are about four and a half feet so that puts us at 13 and a half feet we need 11 feet to clear so I'm going to drop the antenna now and we'll see how that goes anchor girl is going to be my eyes on the uh, on the bow otherwise perfect day was all good. We cleared that bridge with a couple feet to spare at least, so say anchor drill, which is kind of what I expected. So that's a good thing. We just went through real slow just to make sure. Uh, last time we came through here was with the 400, our sedan bridge. Of course, the fly bridge quite a bit higher, so we stopped and we waited for the swing. And as we're going through, the guy yells down, oh, you could have made it, man. You could have cleared it. It's like, I don't think so because I'm standing up at that bridge level and I'm looking across that like no I see steel in front of my eyes so that would have been a no. Anyways it is now 9 30 in the morning we have uh, roughly a six hour cruise to get down to our next destination which is going to be Port Severn back on the Trent Severn waterway today. Uh, today this morning is Thursday in real time it is August 1st 2019 already August 1st, crazy. And so being Thursday, and I think I mentioned in the last video, it's a long weekend coming up here in Ontario. Uh, so it will be, it'll be very busy on the trans Waterway. So what we did is we booked two nights at the Raleigh Resort. Yes, I've taken you there before, but we're going back again. <laughs> and uh, that's where we're gonna spend the next couple of nights and then we'll, we'll carry on from there. It's not too bad, we might actually just go right across over the lock, spend a night at the lock, because it's nice 
it's interesting to be at the locks on busy weekends just to see the boat traffic and the boats coming and going through the locks. It's, uh, it's entertaining. So I'll take you along for that ride as well. Now, uh, one last thing I just want to make mention of, I switched my micro, mic, marker minder around, so it's now going to be green on the right going back because we are heading basically upstream in this scenario, even though we're not really going upstream. Anyway, it's just the way it's laid out on the chart. So back up through South Channel uh, and then back on the main small craft route, past centuries, and then south from there. See you along the way. probably can't see it but way down there is a flag fluttering in the wind and there's a green marker on shore there day beacon the look on the charts there is a flag way down there you can't see it because of the reflection here and of course the markers it doesn't hurt also to have a chart flyer at your side <laughs> but uh, you, you point out these structures on land that are shown on the charts gives you a pretty good reckoning as to where you are and where you should be. Well, it's not even the weekend and all the yahoos are already out. People don't know how to drive freaking boats. Uh, just got in a situation with uh, a big boat like they were doing the loop, flying the power squadron fl flag, no less, heading right in front of us, right across us. I was right on the line by the GPS, heading next to uh, a, a passage way here where there's uh, clearly marked greens and reds. <laughs> hailed them on the radio, no reply. Slowed the boat down, nothing. Hailed them again, nothing. Had the throttle right back and still nothing and had to cut around him on the wrong side because he was hell bent on just going boop right across us and even after the fact called him on the radio no reply big boat with VHF antennas at least again people listen to your freaking radio when you're on the water man that it's very extremely frustrating. You try to call somebody on the radio, they're absolutely not listening. Ha 
have your VHF radio on. 16, monitor it, listen to it, shut the stereo off. the big red marker that is now taking us southeast towards uh, Big David Bay. Um, I like to call this stretch Big David Bay, even though it's not technically, it's said on the bottom, but it's a nice long straight run. Um, so yeah, just a tick after 12 o'clock noon, so we're making really good time, uh, despite the fact that we're driving generally very slow, which uh, again, it's okay. I'm never in a hurry to uh, get off the bay when it's our last day up here, especially after only being here for four days, I think. Right, honey? Four days on Georgia Bay so far? This yeah. day, this is this would be day five. Yeah, because we were two nights at Henry's, two nights at Ferry Sound, and today... In Midland. Yeah, in Midland. Oh, yeah, in Midland. Okay, and two nights in Midland, so five, six days, actually, on the One bay. One night in Midland. One night in Midland. One night in Midland. Okay, one night in Midland. Isn't that one night? I know. We're going to have to do, we'll have to review the takes. Uh, I posted on Facebook about a week ago. I asked Anchor Girl what day it was, and she didn't know. And that she was okay with that. And I said, I am too. But I thought it was almost a Friday. So I, I put on uh, Facebook, I just said that Anchor Girl didn't know what day it was, and I had a feeling it was close to the weekend, so happy Friday Eve, it felt like it was a Thursday. People got a kick out of that, uh, which is pretty much our routine. Whatever day it is, it's whatever day it is, doesn't matter. We are out, we're cruising, we're boating, and we're enjoying this time incredibly immensely. It is so, so great. Even though, yeah, we've been out over four weeks on the boat, it, it goes by so fast. It's so enjoyable. Security, 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 35 foot water vessel. Even to do a lot of nothing is enjoyable because it's not work, right? Really nice. And especially, man, we got weather like this, a days like today. It's been like this the whole time we've been out. Yeah, two days, I think we had. Two days that you can call cloudy days and uh, with a little bit of rain. Yeah, going back. Nothing to complain about the weather department or our adventure department. Yes, sometimes it can be frustrating dealing with all the other crazy boaters on the water, but that's just the way it is. It's a small price to pay for uh, seeing what we see and getting to where we go and enjoying all that time. I mean, look at the view. Why are you looking at me? Look at the view. something a little different for us. When we came up, we normally go through Monument Channel, very picturesque, pretty, and I filmed that for you on our way up, but today we are gonna go outside, which is actually the main small craft route, that's an alternate route. So, just to be out a little bit more, I'm hoping to get a little bit of speed on this boat soon, once we get around the corner here. I'm gonna give some gas for this pass this fellow. Get some wind in my hair. Now here on Georgian Bay, apart from having the green spar boys in the water, they also have these big day beacons. And you just gotta keep an eye out, even at a distance, uh, if it's green or if it's red, because it'll be a square in the middle or 
a cone in the middle. Remember, red pointy, green flat. So we've just arrived at the bottom side of Lock 45. Now due to the really high water levels this year on Georgian Bay, there's not gonna be uh, anywhere to tie up to the blue line because the blue line is pretty much underwater right now. So I'm just looking back, make sure nobody's coming. So what we're gonna do, we'll just hover around here down the bottom. It looks like they're just bringing the boats into the top of the lock. So that'll be about, I don't know, maybe 15 minutes for us to wait before we can then enter the lock. and. Uh, Right now, there's nobody else in here, which is a good thing, because I believe I mentioned before, sometimes people, people get a little bit, uh, well, <laughs> I, don't, I don't think I even have to say. the GoPro running as we go through and into the lock to give you an idea of how high the water levels are you can't really see it from here not in a good perspective anyways so I'll show you that up close and personal with the GoPro Folks, clearly we have made it back to the Raleigh Resort and Marina. I had to read the sign and know where we were exactly. And uh, happy to be here once again with my lovely anchor girl. And as was forecast, the wind has picked up. It's gotten quite breezy, which is really nice. And it's actually waking me up a little bit because I just got to say, after seven and a half hours of driving on the boat into the direct sunlight, I had a headache and just wasn't feeling very good at all, but I am back in spirits. <laughs> okay, we need technical advice here. <laughs> Try every switch on that switch. Oh, oh, wait, no, don't turn that. Look at that guy, she's gonna undo the hose. 
the water's still on. Let's see how this works out. Ta-da! <laughs> you did it, honey. Too much stuff happening. Too much, like, work. <laughs> Yeah, what? You're doing it wrong, too. Don't tell me that. Pardon me? Don't tell me that. Well, you're not doing it the way I would do you it. You can flip and do it yourself. Then drop the hose. Walk away. <laughs> okay, anyways, on that note, we're here. I've cooled down a little bit, and... Uh, enjoying a cool one which is helping a lot and our water tank is full as you could clearly see because it needs uh, a cap one <laughs> this is being reeled in really well so here we are we're back here and we're calling it quits for today thank you again for watching following along and hope you found this one somewhat entertaining and enlightening i'm going to finish that beer and girl's finishing her cooler and then we're going to go over to the grill for dinner because Anchor Girl's buying dinner again tonight. <laughs> I'll take my debit card. <laughs> take your debit card. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Cheers. We'll see you tomorrow.